Most scientists today believe the virus that causes COVID-19 is here to stay. Unlike smallpox and polio, which were largely eradicated through vaccination, SARS-CoV-2 is expected to circulate for the foreseeable future, much like the flu. Health experts say this requires a change in approach. We need a new strategy moving forward, and that strategy uh, does not have us in emergency mode all the time. This week, the Biden administration laid out its strategy for living with the virus long term. It includes development of a so-called pan-coronavirus vaccine that would provide protection from all coronaviruses, including the multiple variants of SARS-CoV-2. Obviously, innovative approaches are needed to induce broad and durable protection against coronaviruses that are known and some that are even at this point unknown. Hence the terminology pan-coronavirus vaccine. Last fall, Fauci's organization, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, awarded more than $36 million to three U.S. institutions to research and develop a pan-coronavirus vaccine. But the U.S. Army appears to be one step ahead of them. Walter Reed Army Institute of Research says its pan-coronavirus vaccine works well in monkeys and is now being tested on humans. Preliminary results are encouraging. In a statement, the co-inventor of the vaccine said, this vaccine stands out in the COVID-19 vaccine landscape and may stimulate immunity in such a way as to translate into significantly broader protection. If successful, pan-coronavirus vaccines could be customized and manufactured quickly to help prevent future coronavirus pandemics like the one we're in right now that has battered healthcare systems around the world. But Fauci warns it could take a while before a universal coronavirus vaccine is available. It's going to take years to develop in an incremental fashion. In the meantime, Fauci says current vaccines and boosters offer the best protection against severe infection. Karina Huber, CGTN.